Hi everyone, this is Ronnie from YouTube telling you more about raw food stuff and raw vegan stuff and all that. Uh, if you've got any questions about that, feel free to leave your comment below. But what I want to talk about is the really bad advice people are giving on all sorts of online forums. So if you go to Facebook, there's about, let me see, at least 20 fairly big raw food forums. Not many of them are very active, but a lot of them have over 10,000 people in them. And probably the most active one is 801010 Raw Vegan Fruitarian, and that's a, that's a really good place, and it's got a lot of good people on it, giving out a lot of legitimate information about 801010. But there's a lot of people on that forum that just give loads of really bad advice. I don't really, I don't really know why they feel inclined to do that or why they feel qualified to do that. But I saw a post the other day and it was a lady who was, she, she showed a picture of herself with abs and really skinny. And then she showed a picture of herself like bloated and fat and said, and basically was saying that, I guess that this transformation was since she started the diet and that she wasn't able to, and, and she never felt satisfied. So she had to eat more and eat more and eat more. And she was eating 5,000 to 6,000 calories a day. And she was eating this massive watermelon and, and all these uh, and all these things, right? And, you know, she was bloated, she was all, all this kind of stuff, having these problems, could she get any advice, you know? And immediately there's a lot of red flags there for me when I look at that. With my experience of having spoken to a lot of people who are raw vegans and stuff. The first thing is if someone claims that they're eating five to 6,000 calories a day, that's not happening. They're not doing that. No one's doing that on fruit unless they're actually trying to do that. No one does it accidentally because they're just, they feel hungry. You would have to be trying to eat that amount of calories. You'd have to know how much that is. You'd have to be doing it and you'd have to be doing it probably as an athlete or something. And you'd have to be pretty disciplined to do that. Just like any athlete on any diet, to eat that much, they have to actually be quite disciplined and kind of force themselves to eat that much. She's not doing that. Definitely, definitely not. She's not putting on weight, eating 5,000, 6,000 calories of fruit either. Um, she might be bloated, but this thing about bloated is just so, like, I don't know, it, it, it means so many different things. What does a person mean by bloated? And you really need to know what else is the person eating if they're bloated, because eating just fruit is not something that will make you bloated as far as I've ever experienced but eating a combination of things or eating vegetables or eating beans or eating all sorts of other things will definitely make you bloated. A good thing um, like peas, if you were to eat a lot of peas, especially cooked peas, cooked sweet corn, combination of stuff like that can make you really really bloated but bananas, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing that happening with bananas and stuff like that. So immediately I'm just like, this isn't accurate. So why have they posted this? I believe that there's a lot of people who want to find information to tell them to stop doing it. I think they want to be told this isn't for you. And, and when I looked at the comments below, what I started to find was lots of people saying, oh, raw probably doesn't work for you. You should go back to the diet you did before and, and a few things like that. And uh, some people were saying you need to eat more protein, you need to eat more fat. Like these are just people who don't know anything at all about what she's talking about, about the diet, about the lifestyle, or whatever. So they're saying like, "Oh, raw doesn't work for you." Well, the reason that she's doing it is because clearly what she was doing in the past wasn't working for her. She's not. It's not like I was really happy with my previous diet and now I'm trying out raw. No, she obviously wasn't. So it's a silly thing to say, I'll go back to the diet you were doing that you thought was so great, you know. So that's a, a pointless thing to say. And then eating more protein, eating more fat, it's like, well, that goes against the whole point of the diet, which is to eat an appropriate amount of protein and fat in line with what our body, what the anatomy of our body physiology suggests that we should consume. You know, we don't need to eat amounts, the amounts of fat that people are eating, the amounts of protein. 
and people are having problems with it. But regardless of this, 5,000 to 6,000 calories a day is a lot of food, especially for fruit. You could do it with uh, bananas, maybe. You'd have to force it every day, but you could do it. Smoothies, I think it'd be quite difficult to eat 50 bananas. And you could maybe do it with durian and a few other things, but you'd have to be really someone with a very big appetite. Maybe, a, maybe an athlete or something. And then there was a comment below and it was a lady who was like, oh, I'm a doctor and I'm a herbalist and what this would, I'm a Chinese herbalist and what this would suggest is uh, like, <laughs> what was it, pancreas? <laughs> Your pancreas isn't working or something like that. I'm like, and I replied, are you, I've replied something like, this is horrible information for a doctor to be giving. <laughs> like, a doctor just online forums saying, oh yeah, your, your pancreas isn't working. Like, what the fuck? You, someone's showing you a fat belly and you're saying pancreas where does that come from and then her husband replied I'm her husband I'm also a doctor I'm like I don't care that you're a doctor it doesn't mean anything in the context of the 80-10-10 lifestyle <laughs> it doesn't mean anything in terms of a raw vegan diet it doesn't really mean anything in terms of nutrition it's, it's a qualification that you have but it doesn't mean you have any information or knowledge or application about nutrition it doesn't mean anything it means that you have a medical degree and you've done stuff to do with medicine but you've not been taught about the relationship between nutrition and disease which is kind of weird but anyway well anyhow um yeah, the, the, they're, and they're talking about Chinese, and this is, a, this is the thing, I've talked about this in a video before, but the Chinese medicine thing has some weird ideas, and they're like, oh, the Chinese medicine's been around for thousands of years. The reason that Chinese medicine developed is because Chinese people were getting sick. Because they were eating a terrible diet, just like everyone else. They were eating a really crappy diet, cooked food, um probably some seafood, some meat and vegetables, whatever, not enough fruit and human beings are designed to live on fruit. So they were eating a terrible diet, they were getting sick partly because of the diet and maybe other things, they had to try and develop medicine and and what we really mean by medicine if you go back far enough is supplement is basically a kind of supplementation of the terrible diet like adding more vitamin C into the diet because they were all living on grains and things like that. So that's kind of like the early Chinese medicine, but we don't need Chinese medicine anymore. It's a lot of bunk. We don't, you don't need any of it. You don't need to waste your time with any herbs or any of that stuff. What you need to do is focus on eating the, the healthiest foods, which is fruits, and go move towards that kind of a lifestyle. And I really don't think Chinese medicine will help anyone ever in any way for any condition, ever, ever. There's, there's nothing it can do for you. <clears throat> so there was these, all these bad comments but what we're seeing is lots and lots of poor comments lots and lots of misinformation being shared just lots of people saying you know basically don't believe in the diet <laughs> but we're seeing a lot of trolls as well um, but honestly if someone goes online and says they're eating too much they're gaining weight on fruit it's never ever the case Never ever the case is that what's happening. Um, they're always eating something else. They won't admit it. And this is how people are crazy when it comes to food. Believe me, they are crazy. They will deny, they will lie, they will cover it up. Um, they, they don't want to face the truth. They don't want to admit the truth. That, that they're making mistakes, that it's not the diet's fault. And most of them haven't even been shown how to do the diet right, so I'm not surprised. They've never seen it, they've never witnessed it, they've never been with someone. And I've had people that have been really struggling with their diet, and I've said to them, people that live near me, and I've said, let's, sp let's spend the day together, I will show you how I do this. And they didn't want to, they didn't, they, they weren't interested because they thought they knew better. But they're not eating raw food anymore. 
So, like, people think they know what they're doing. They like to think a lot of things. But just be aware that there is some bad advice online. But if you want to get great advice, you should come. You know where you should come, the UK Fruit Fest. And uh, we have a competition running until Saturday. You can go to fruitfest.co.uk slash competition to enter. Our prices go up on Saturday night. If you are interested in coming, sign up before Saturday night. And uh, we'll see you at the festival and we'll get you some really, really top class information and education from the best raw food teachers in the world. This year we had the best raw food teachers in the world. So we would love to see you there at the festival. And uh, apart from that, have a great day. Focus on your fruits, getting enough fruits. What are other tips? Exercise. I've been really enjoying exercise recently. I'm going to make a video about that. But I hope everyone's good. And we'll see you in the next video.